Hello and uh, welcome. Uh, I'm uh, really honored to have the distinguished guests and uh, our artists, the student artists in here with us. Also the, one of the judges uh, on behalf of the team of judges is going to be here. This is uh, a great pleasure to welcome you to the first we call it the inaugural uh, uh, event, uh, the Art Plus NFT Technology Competition uh, that we started in January of uh, this year. And we had 10 participants uh, that joined us uh, and participated in the event. Uh, we also have uh, Another event in here that the art competition wouldn't really get started without the vision and the um, the support that we have from Herb Rice and uh, the partners Jaru and Ziv Klein that prompted us to create this art competition. Um, so we have the the benefit uh, of their generosity with uh, their donation, the contribution um, that they made, which prompted us to create the art competition and it uh, funded the, uh, the winning uh, prizes. Um, I know that uh, art is an important aspect of every campus. Technology is also very important uh, in our lives, but when you combine the two, it's a powerful statement that you make. And more and more we've seen that art and technology are being converged and um, make a, an impact in the form of NFTs in recent years. And uh, that's what we are heading with this technology, uh, we want to encourage our students, we want to embrace their talent and their creativity, and we want to promote art and technology on the campus of Morgan State University. So, uh, I wanted to, uh, to say these uh, few words. I, I also want to say that we have uh, the, uh, the honor of uh, having Dr. Dante V uh, with us, who represents uh, the president of Morgan State University. He is the vice president for uh, state and federal uh, uh, programs, and also chief of staff at the university, and a strong supporter of the business school and, uh, and our students. So, uh, with that, I want to invite Dr. V to come forward and bring the greetings from the President. Thank you, Dr. V. Good afternoon, everyone. This is always a great moment for us to do anything on behalf of Morgan and to our visitors, of course, John Rule, um, of course, Herb Rice, and Zine, Zine Klein, right? Um, we're excited that you all are here, and you may not know this, but um, it's always a great day to be at Morgan State University. Um, we all believe that here, and we live it every day, and we see it every day. There's so many great things that happen, that happens here all the time. Uh, I'm sorry that Dr. Wilson isn't here today. He would love to have been here as well, because what this event represents is everything he believes in. When he talks about first, first, and thinking and doing, that's who we are. And we have the pedigree. I'm being overly excited about things here, but we do have the pedigree to demonstrate that. And we demonstrate it every day, and it's shown and it's seen worldwide. Our president currently is in Ghana and Nigeria, and for that reason, he's not here today. Uh, and he's part of an initiative, again, a first concept in Nigeria. So here at Morgan, we have what's called the TET Fund. The TET Fund is the tertiary 
initiative fund, right, from Nigeria. And that particular fund is designed so that all of the individuals that are working on PhDs and postdocs and master's degrees from Nigeria are being supported by way of Martin State University. We provided all of those degrees for them. Now, of course, there's a reciprocal relationship because education costs, but it's reasonable nevertheless. I mentioned that because early on, they had a conversation with the Fulbright Foundation, and the Fulbright was interested in that program and initiative, and this was a real excitement for the Fulbright. And the leadership from Nigeria came to Morgan State University. They met with Dr. Wilson, and they made the decision that they no longer work, wanted to work with the Fulbright and put the entire national program under one institution rather than universities around the country because they had experience at Morgan. First, General. First, Mr. Klein. First, are you with me? And that's the mindset that we have here. Let me mention one other thing about our mindset. So, uh, Morgan is considered as a national treasure. You're gonna hear that a lot. So, uh, everything that you participated, you participated with us, you are part of a national treasure as well. And, and so, why are we a national treasure? We often get that response. We get it from Johns Hopkins University. We get it from our universities. I don't want to speak of them. President, we're forbidden to talk about some of the HBCUs that are close by in Washington, D.C. We don't talk about them at all. Uh, but nevertheless, I think you guys have an idea of what we're referring to. So we are a national treasure because of an art concept as well. So if you look at the buildings here on campus, you're not going to see any red brick at Morgan. You're going to find that red brick at most universities around the country, but you will not find red brick here. Well, there's a tradition here with, the, with we at one point. Um, we had a scenario where we had brick in our areas, and some of the stones from there we made all of our buildings with. So that's what you see today. And years later, and we've been here since 1867, that's one to mention this to you, and these buildings have been built in the early 1900s. And so we've been here for many, many, many years, and the funding was slow because we're in HBCU, and you guys probably understand what that means in this particular case. So what we're saying here, Mr. Rice, is that the, um, the National uh, Society for Public Trust, right, they basically looked at Morgan and looked at all of the building and the constructions that we have, the new buildings, etc., and discovered that the way we rebranded our architecture, how nothing was clashing and it supported the architecture of the early 1900s and everything we have here today, that they not only made Morgan's buildings a national treasure, one or two buildings, the entire campus has been designated as a national treasure. Now, there are other schools that are national treasures that are two. That school I was trying not to mention, Howard. Howard has one building on campus. That's the national treasure. It's their library. And there, uh, and Brown has one building on this campus that's considered as a national treasure. We're the only university in the country where its entire, entire university is considered as a national treasure. And we're excited about that. So that's what you're a part of. So I hate that the president isn't here because when we talk about art and the future of it and what Morgan can do with it and with brands like Jaru and brands like her being a part of this effort, we understand what that, the potential is for that. And we appreciate your being here. We appreciate the support you provided for our students. And by all means, not only welcome to the National Treasure as outsiders, welcome to the National Treasure as a part of our Morgan family. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. V. Um, we appreciate it. Um, as the director, founder and director of the National Center for the study of blockchain and fintech. 
uh, in the OG Graves School of Business and also as the Associate Dean of the school. Again, I welcome all of you, the ones that have just joined us. Um, and we want to continue with our program. Uh, we want to uh, do the introductions. My colleague, Tainisa, will do the introductions and the Czech presentation uh, follows. Uh, so with that, um, I request Tainisa to introduce our illustrious guests. Thank you, Dr. Ender. Hi, my name is Tanisha Brown. I am the program coordinator for the National Center for the Study of Blockchain and Financial Technology. It is my honor to introduce to you her Bryce, Javo, and Z Klein. Z Klein is general partner and co-founder of Landmark Ventures, a leading investment bank and corporate advisory firm. He is also the founder of the NFC platform, House of Bruce. Z graduated with a BA in economics from Northwestern University and received an MBA from NYU Stern School of Business. Herb Rice is an entrepreneur and co-founder of the NFT platform, The Painted House. He is a graduate of Towson University with a BA in business management and mass communications. Fun fact, his wife Shayla is a graduate of the illustrious Morgan State University class of 2000. <laughs> Jahul is an award-winning rapper, actor, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. Born and raised in Queens, New York, Jai is an icon in the music industry. While he is known for his success in music and entertainment, he is also a trailblazer and thought leader in the Web3 space, specifically NFTs. Along with Herb Rice and Zeev Klein, he launched the NFT campaign, Black is Beautiful, with a portion of the proceeds benefiting HBCUs. Without further ado, can I ask Herb Rice, Jaru, and Z Klein to come? Okay, Dr. Dean, would you please join us? Oh, by the way, um, a test of eyesight from right there. <laughs> Uh, House of First uh, donated $5,000 to the uh, National FinTech Center for activities that are driven by students, all related to FinTech and uh, uh, NFTs. And um, another check donation from Icon was also for $5,000. And uh, this was, both of these checks actually prompted us to start the art competition. So with that, we are indebted to both uh, donors. Thank you so much. Okay, um, as I said, the, uh, the, the event uh, that we have today is, um, the idea was, uh, uh, started really as, sim as a simple um, idea. NFTs, as I mentioned, are being used uh, as a way of creating uh, digital art that is unique and uh, people can purchase them, use them, 
uh, pretty much like any artwork uh, with, with unique qualities that they have. Um, so what we decided to do was to encourage and um, involve our students in the creative process. And uh, we said the rules of this competition are that you find out something about Morgan's history uh, and depict an individual, an event, or a place, an area of campus that has uh, significant importance to the history of Morgan. And uh, the students had a few months from January until April to come up with their artwork. And uh, what you see here on the screen are 10 examples of our students' works. And uh, they submitted them, and we went through some uh, process of um, reviewing them or evaluating them. And the judges, I want to read the names of the judges. Um, besides the illustrious Jaro and Herb Rice, we had other people uh, that participated in, the, in this process. So I'm going to thank them and mention that these uh, uh, individuals, including Professor Carrillo, uh, Professor Moran, Professor Briscoe, Professor Johnson, and Professor DePaulo. Participated in uh, in the judging, and we had the rubrics, and they went down, looked at all the work, and selected what you see in here. So some of these are, and again, they assign numeric uh, numbers or scores to each work. So what you you see is uh, great work that our students have done and we want to congratulate them, really, for embracing Morgan's history and developing the artwork. That's number one. Number two is that all of them are winners by participating in the competition. And we want to thank them, and we want to encourage them to continue uh, their work. Creativity is uh, something that uh, you gain as you create more, you, uh, you will have more. So we, we tell the students that uh, uh, please participate in our second and third and fourth, all the future ones that we're going to be hosting. Uh, we want them to participate in uh, wider uh, communication and publicity also uh, with, with the uh, a lot more uh, input from our experts. So uh, with that, I want to uh, ask Dr. Uh, Professor Carrillo to uh, make the announcement and come forward for the presentation of the winner of the, uh, this art competition. Thought process. Okay. Yeah. 
So um, I chose Werner Friedman as my subject for the NFT competition because when I created the piece, it was around March, which is also the Women's History Month. So I chose Rita Freeman because she was Maryland's first black female state representative, and she was also a well-known activist for uh, black and women rights, women's rights during her when she was alive. So I decided that she was really important, and it was really good to, like, women's history is also Morgan's history, is what I had put in my description. So that's what I chose, and the way I kind of depicted it was, like, in the bubbles, just have like how she represented, like the representative, state representative, and then how she was trying to create equality for women's rights and also for black and other people of color rights. So I felt like that was another way that I could empower. And by based on what I learned in Garillo's class, um, I used his techniques that he taught me learned throughout my first and second semester that I had taken him in computer graphics and applied it to the other Great job. We're going to pass the, the artwork so that each one of you can see it uh, close. Beautiful. Very good. That's, thank Beautiful. you. Great job. Yeah, I just want to say that it was a, a good opportunity to check in all the history of Morgan. So it's like we actually took classes, a few classes to like check in all the history back so the students could like, you know, um, start like thinking about it and also like pick one that they think was the best. So I feel like, yeah, we also need to like a better communication about what's an NFT. So some were like not understanding the concept yet. So since this is the first time, I know that's probably one of the problems that we have. And some were also shy to actually uh, present their stuff, but we have like a lot. So it actually, it, it was an actual class. And uh, it was good for those two things, you know, practicing in some bibliographic um, extra techniques, but also at the same time to make all that revision about the history. So we were checking in all the uh, sources they could from the university for the students to check and do our research about the history of Morgan. So thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Professor Kareem. Okay, so uh, let me uh, ask, uh, request her to say a few words, and if uh, Jaro and, and Z want to say anything. Um. Thank you. Well, first off, on behalf of the House of Fur, Z, Klein, and Icon, Jaro, we want to thank you guys for welcoming us um, to this illustrious university today. You know, Morgan State is really near and dear to me. Um, as Tanisha mentioned, my wife is a graduate of Morgan State, class of 2000. And, uh, you know, when we were going down this path, uh, we knew that it was important for us to get back to the cornerstones of our communities, which is our HBCUs. Um, as I mentioned, you know, NFTs was something that's foreign to a lot of our folks. And uh, Ja, myself, and Z thought it would very, be very important in a fitting way to introduce the NFT technology to HBCUs by doing something fun, right? Something that people love and enjoy, which is art. You know, so we hope that this is basically just a spark, a catalyst, if you will, to bigger and better things. As Dr. Ali mentioned, we wanna call this the inaugural event because we have hopes and intentions of hopefully doing this, you know, years and years from now. Um, so this is just a start, right? And, um, you know, hopefully next year we'll be here again uh, doing it even bigger in, in the next year, in the next year, and, and we really create something that can be, you know, used across all HBCUs, you know. So give yourself a, a, a pat on the back for being, I guess, the first to do this, right? And, uh, and hopefully this is a spark to bigger and better things. So again, thank you for welcoming us, and uh, we hope to see you again next year and years following. Yeah, I don't got much I want to say. I just want to piggyback off my brother. Uh, we appreciate all y'all for taking time out of y'all day for being here, first and foremost. Um, you know, we started this initiative uh, sometime last year, and the thought process was a lot bigger than what you see at this moment. You know, um, this is, like my brother said, this is a start. 
this is sparkling and hopefully something very, very big in, uh, in the future. But, you know, we want to do this for many HBCUs. We feel as though, you know, um, that our communities need this. They need people like us to come in and give more to the HBCUs. I want, you know, our black kids to be proud to go to HBCUs. I want them to, you know, look up and say, I want to go to Morgan. You know, my daughter went to Hampton. I want to go to Howard, you know. And, and my brother, be very proud to mention Howard as, the, as one of the other schools. You know, we don't got to be in competition with each other. We all in this together, you know. So, I, 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 of course, of course it is. I know. It was the, the real HU, you know, Hampton and Howard, they go at it all the time. But, but, you know, I, I want to say that to say that this is just our entry point. Art was our entry point to get into this, you know, initiative. But, you know, it, this is a business school. I would love to give money to your business program. I would love to, you know, give money to the, to the athletic program. You know, I, I, I would, you know, so, so this, is, this is the start of something very big. And, and in years to come, next year, hopefully it'll be bigger, this room will be more full, and you know, we're gonna bring more people, we're gonna bring more money, and we're gonna keep this thing going and growing, you know, so I appreciate y'all, and then let's get it started. I don't want, I don't want this to be a, a good lie, or a, a, a you know, thank you. Um, I would rather say, let's, 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 let's let this be a hello and a, and a, and a welcome, so. Here we are. Um, let, me, let me also mention that um, the next phase of this, as we discussed, was uh, we talked about the art. We've done the art part, but we need to do the NFT now. And that's when uh, Z uh, and John and Herb are going to be helping us uh, with their talents, with, their, uh, with the expertise that they have in uh, turning the piece into an NFT. Uh, we talk about it uh, later on in, in uh, some additional discussions. So with that, let me uh, also present the uh, winning check of $2,000. Thank you. Uh, the generosity of uh, our uh, esteemed guests in here. But thank you so much. Uh, this concludes our uh, ceremony here. We look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. We're going to plan another one for this fall. It's going to be much bigger. It's going to be a lot better. Every year it's going to get better than the year before. Well, we'll we'll do this time. We'll turn it well, up a little bit. Absolutely. <laughs> we need it. We need it. We need it. Thank you so much. Uh, be well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.